know it's me and then lunch, so don't eat me. Um, but you are you are welcome to tweet um, uh, to Yossi Air or to AO. That's the company, and then later we can talk. And uh, I learned a lot since the day started, so it's great. Um, okay, I'll take you through our journey, basically in three words. What we did online, how we did to do it, how we tried to do it on TV, how shit it was, and then how we changed it. Um, so I gave you the punchline, but now maybe we'll tell you a little bit more about the details. So. Um, AL.com, we found it twice in 2000 by John Roberts, just a mistake, never mind, um, with, uh, 15 years ago in the UK, um, and last year we uh, launched in Germany, um, the 1st of October, so it's happy birthday for us. Um, probably none of you have heard of us, or maybe some of you have seen our TV advertising, we're starting to um, experiment. We still don't know exactly what's our brand awareness uh, around that, but we're now also active in Germany. Um, even if you ask what we do, basically our job is to make these products interesting. Um, so this is a washing machine and a fridge freezer, probably one of the most boring products you can think of. Um, and the, the, the challenge is when you think of buying this thing, you probably think of Media Mart or Saturn or um, Red Coon, or in the UK it's Curry's and John Lewis. And, and you go to the store and then what? The only thing you do is open the washing machine door and check if it's sturdy. That's the only thing you can't do in store. You can't take it home, for example, um, although it's written there, but how exactly are you going to put your washing machine in the car? Um, and that's a real picture of someone I saw in London. Um, and you, can't, you, you, have to, you, have to, you need the store to deliver the product to you. And that's what we try to do. So we try to save these things from the customer. We can't come to their homes with our van and then we deliver the product and install it. And we do, uh, in the UK we do same day, but basically we just do next day deliveries um, in Germany um, as well. So you can buy the product and without extra cost get it tomorrow. Uh, we have the best prices, uh, so we promise price match. Um, and we have a huge range of products and we install the product for you. Now, it's not that sexy and you probably don't think about these things unless your washing machine is breaking, and then you need us. So I'll start by explaining you in our social media way um, and character what we're doing, and hopefully you'll get a little bit about what what can, what's the brand spirit we try to convey to people. So what we sell? We sell washing machines, and all these things were posted on our Facebook in the last couple of years. We sell dishwashers. We sell. Fridges, and that was the game when people had to guess how many beers are in the fridge. Um, it worked pretty well because it showed you how big the fridge and stuff like that. We sell fridges, um, we sell ovens and cookers, we sell TVs and home entertainment. Um, just started uh, last year, we don't do it in Germany yet. And that was one of the games when we asked on Facebook, can you guess the movie that's in the picture? Come on, I'm sure you can guess. Fifty Shades of Grey, yeah, okay, so half a million people saw that and 30,000 guests and one of them on a TV. We sell small appliances as well, and the reason the picture is here is for the social media geeks on every social media presentation there should be a cut, so there is a cut and that's it. Um, but the thing is, so that's what we sell, but how do you find us? And that's kind of the journey we've been through. Basically, you don't know we exist. Um, before we started on to, to, to create really big brand campaigns. Um, so people have to search for washing machines and then hopefully they'll find us on Google or um, on one of the ads. And the same things happen. And we, we, when we came to Germany, we, we noticed that if people don't know you, they're probably not going to click on your ads. I mean, yeah, you will have some basic click to rates, but the more famous you are, the more known you are, the more people will click on you and they actually convert and not just click and run. <laughs> um, or you find us on the price match uh, thing. But we want people to click AO.com or AO.de and go to the browser and, and buy. We found out that if people do that, they, there's a chance they will convert this double than if they'll just search us on Google. So that's really good. So the investment's worth it. Um, so in order to do that, obviously we talked a lot about it today, we need to build a brand. 
And the way to do it is with some PR when we had the IPO in the UK, we got some loads, loads of, uh, loads of uh, financial PR with TV advertising, which I'll talk about, with uh, online videos and with um, 1.7 million fans on Facebook and uh, loads of other online activities. So before I'll talk about the TV ads, um, the not, success, not so successful version of that, I want to show you a little bit what we've done on Facebook except some pictures of washing machines. So how, for example, we talk about cashback. Um, and if you know cashback, um, it's um, the m most exciting thing ever in the retail. You buy a washing machine and then you, yeah, then you apply and you get 100 pounds back. So we had a game um, where we said, okay, how much money we froze here? If you can guess how much money we froze in this block, you can, that's the money you will get back. Uh, and that was really engaging. We also did some money laundering. As you can see, we had, we had <laughs> lots of budget and I was in all of the pictures. But that was... But that was but that was the fun thing of the online journey. I mean, you can, you can just take a picture, put it on Facebook, see what happens, and 3,000 people uh, uh, engage in this cashback. And again, it's not a competition. You, can, you can't win this money. Yeah? You can just get it when you buy a washing machine, you'll get it back. Um, and I already told you this joke. Um, and um, other activities, we wanted to show how nice the dishwasher looks. So we put the ducks and we we'll ask people to count. And I know it sounds stupid, but many people actually count the ducks. Uh, because you, you just ask them to count how many ducks are in the dishwasher. People want to show you they can count. It's really important. And they put the answers and it worked really well. Um, and then we found out that ducks are more popular than cats. Um, and, and other activities we're doing, for example, is um, is uh, baking um, with Neff, so Neff, uh, part of the both group, they uh, gave us an oven to do some activities with, so we created an online content, we found two bloggers in, in uh, Dublin that love to bake, and we created this nice content with them, and people shared it, and it went on Facebook, and it was really nice, and uh, Neff were happy, everybody were happy, um, and that's it. And this is another lady, her name is Madi, and again, she's a blogger, and we uh, gave her some, um, some supplies, and she created mean spies um, in a toaster. That's something she likes to do, and, and people engage with that. And other activities we've done, for example, um, very UK-based, <laughs> um, is uh, we sponsored a Lancashire Cricket Club um, in Manchester, and we've done something like a crossbar challenge with football, but with cricket. And that, that was our most successful video ever on Facebook. Um, if you look at the side, it's got more than 800,000 views in 30 seconds. So, very nice reach for a branded video. And many people uh, got excited about that and shared it with their friends. And it has a washing machine in it, so it kind of gives us, uh, gives us what we want. And when I show you all these things, um, is all of that is online. Oh, there is another example here yeah, I want to show you. Um, sorry. Um, so this example, and again, how you show people that washing machines are, um, are big. So there is a 9 kilogram washing machine. What is exactly 9 kilogram washing machine? It's like, it's how exactly you tell people how big it is. So we've done a video, again, using the home model. Um, me um, and um, if, if you wanna if you wanna play the game and guess how many uh, washer things we put. It's almost over. It is, it is a goal. You can win this nine kilogram Hanusi washing machine. Only if you can guess how many items of clothes that I wear can fit inside its washer. Leave your answers on the comments below and subscribe to our channel for your chance to win. Start counting now. That's it, all my winter clothes are inside this 9 kilograms of Lucy washing machine. But hey, if you didn't manage to come, let's reverse it back! Okay, I'll, uh, I'll spare it the, the rest from you, I know you got the point. And then we saw some really nice uh, results which I'll touch. This is the same graph that I'll talk a few times um, in the next 10 minutes. Uh, so that's the Facebook funds. Um, that we had from July 2012, we started investing on Facebook advertising. 
and the green graph is the brown traffic and branded traffic means people coming directly to AO.com or searching in Google for, the, for AO.com and we found out that um, when we do just Facebook advertising, just online activity, we do see slowly, very slowly, um, the brand awareness and the branded traffic grow, go, growing up. So all of that was good and I'll talk more about this graph, so um, if you want to we'll see it again soon. But then we got to the point when we wanted to do, we wanted to expand. Okay, so in the UK we're growing around 30% year on year. For a company that sells white goods, it's, um, it's, it's pretty good, but there is a place where you can't just grow from online and you have to do TV advertising. So, we, I showed you all these examples to give you a little bit about the personality of the company, but then when we wanted to do TV, we kind of forgot everything that I just showed you because now it's big budgets and now we need to do it properly and now we need to decide what's our brand tone of voice and how exactly we do things and we can't use Yossi, he's not going on TV. Um, so we had a TV agency and we, um, everybody wanted to see sales as fast as possible and we ca came with two executions, I'll show you both of them, this is the first one. It's a revolution in customer service. Before action, tell him. Buy your appliances from us and a two-man delivery team will deliver, not when you're out, when you're in. Same day. When you're in. Next day. When you're in. Evening. When you're in. Sunday. When you're in. Even connecting. When you're in. Even connecting up the new TV. When you're in. Yes, sir. For free next day delivery, even on weekends, go to AO.com. Okay, that's, that's one of them, and um, if you don't like it or you like it, um, and that's the second At one. At AO.com we've got unbelievable deals, like this Beko Bud Free Fridge Freezer for just 229 or upgrade to a silver water dispenser model for 249 Also, there's this nice and vacuum cleaner for just 349 And now, Hoover lets you control your appliances while you're out and about with their new Wi-Fi connected kitchen. It's the future, and it comes with a five-year warranty, all with free delivery. Go to AO.com. If you fell asleep, that was the point. And um, it's this one, for example, is really boring, but the great guys loved it. We must put it on TV. Everybody will remember that this Beko fridge freezer will cost 229. Nobody had an idea, and of course, when people saw that, um, they didn't. Um, they didn't exactly remember what which product uh, cost what, and then they come to the site and they see. It. But from trading point of view, and that's the discussion we had, we go on TV, we have to say our best prices and then people will come to the site. Um, by the way, which ad do you think generated more direct traffic to the site? The second one generated more direct traffic, but what happened is basically this traffic died every time we weren't on TV. So you can see the spikes of the brand traffic here, um, and that's when we, we used one of these executions. Um, I'll tell you in a moment what happens on the right side, but you, you go on TV, you spend loads of money, you see brand traffic, it lasts a little bit, but then it dies again um, when you're not. So people just, it's an unmemorable execution. And the first execution from the TV advertising agency, which we invested a lot of money to create, just doesn't show you what we do. It doesn't even have a washing machine inside on it. And I know everybody loves to see washing machines. So we, we kind of had a problem. Uh, what do we do with all these characters? Um, and that's what people saw on the brand, when we've done a brand survey. Uh, people saw that we are cheap and online. And I don't know if that's what we want to be. I want to say, who's this crazy guy from this crazy company? Or who's this nice company that sells me a washing machine? That's what I want them to remember. Uh, and then we had a light bulb moment. Uh, we had loads of customer love on our company. Loads. Um, so we had 1.7 million fans on Facebook. M many of them came because we had competitions and activities and stuff, but they all wanted to win a washing machine or a fridge freezer. We never gave diamonds for people to like us or join us. Although we wanted to, but we didn't have the budget. Um, we had good uh, ratings on trusted shops uh, and trusted, um, trusted stores, um, the, the, the German version. And 
Many people, when they experience our service, this simple proposition of not going to the shop and just buy a washing machine online and get it delivered tomorrow and installed, they really like it. It really, it really works for them. Um, so people just give really good feedback on the service and they like how simple it is and how, I don't know, funny or nice or cute the experience. And we have thousands of views. And then uh, thousands of reviews. And then the e-commerce guys, the people who design the site, um, that they should align to TV, but kind of the opposite happened here. They said, it's a retail site, but instead of putting offers on the homepage, like 20% off or back off or 399, that's really unmemorable and people don't care. Let's put the faces of all of our lovely customers on, on, the, on the homepage and start a campaign on the site that's called Join Millions of Happy Customers. And you know what? Conversion didn't go down, didn't really change, um, but why do the homepage have to have all the offers instead of happy customers? And it worked, and it resonated, and we started to build something. Um, so we said, okay, that's not, that's not a bad point. Let's try and see if any of these customers may want to be part of our TV ad, the new version of the TV ad. And basically, from the website, we went back to creating TV ad, and we started to do auditions on Facebook. And we posted a, a post to all of our customers, so, so non-customers hasn't seen that. We asked them to post the pictures of them with their appliances. Again, very common situation. You take a picture with your freezer and put it on Facebook. Um, and we got, uh, we got hundreds, of, uh, hundreds of people responding, and that was one of the auditions that we got. Hi, my name is Karen and I'm from Birmingham and I recently purchased a Samsung fridge freezer from AO.com. Um, the reason it was such a great experience was simply because I was moving and lots of stresses and purchasing my fridge freezer was effortless. Um, As you see, a charismatic person, I definitely want to use, it, use her on TV. That's mm -hmm. right, um, So, anyway, we chose her, <laughs> although she's not a charismatic. And we made uh, this TV ad. My daughter needed to bake a cake from the school fair. Mm -hmm. And the fridge freezer is broken. Absolute disaster. I needed a new fridge freezer fast. Mm -hmm. And my brother recommended AO.com. Mm -hmm. They could even deliver the same day. We're 30 minutes away. Mm -hmm. I go and got a fridge freezer for you. Absolute mm -hmm. lifesavers. Thanks, AO. Join a million happy customers at AO.com. So, I hope you agree, it's a little bit to say more of what we do. Now, question, you just saw this ad, what do you think people commented about on Twitter and social media? Sorry? It's fake, why? Yeah, well, it's a little bit fake, but Interesting, people didn't care that it's fake because that's what they're used to, probably, <laughs> on TV. But what they're not used to is the driver speaking on the phone. That really irritated everyone. This shot, it's not a driver, he drives with somebody else, but it's, you can't see this shot. And that was really interesting to see what do people react on social media to your ad. But when we saw that, and obviously the traffic and everything, we know we have something that works here. Because we created an ad, very relatively low budget to the previous ad you saw in the warehouse, that it was actors and everything, and people start reacting to it. And another point in the ad that they reacted is they didn't like the fact that the fridge is, that, that she needs to make a cake and she buys a fridge. And for me, when we created that, it just looks completely logic, but people really, it got them really annoyed. Um, so, why do you need to buy a fridge? But um, you can get a fridge the same day, so your butter is saved and your milk is saved. And, but we talk about it. It makes sense. We have something to discuss. It's a story that we tell about our customer. Even if it's fake or not, well, she is a real customer. I just showed you her addition. Um, so, and then we saw something really interesting. When we started to use these versions and we created a few of them, people 
actually start to realize what is AL.com and when we weren't on TV, and of course it was with the right media buying stuff, the drop in the traffic compared to the left side of the screen wasn't that significant. By the way, the big spike is Black Friday. Um, I don't know how big is it in Germany, but that was last year in the UK, it was crazy. And Boxing Day, that's the other big, big spike. And then what we are, where we are on the right side is the message starts to resonate just by telling a story which costs tenths of the budget to produce. And uh, this guy, his name is uh, Wilfried, he's German. <laughs> That's why he speaks German. And um, we, did, we were trying to do the same thing in Germany with real customers. And that is addition on the beach. Um, and that's the ad, advert that came out of it. Yes. Wir hatten Freunde zum Grillen eingeladen. Und der Kühlschrank ging kaputt. Es wäre so alles schlecht geworden. Also habe ich LO angerufen. Ein neuer Kühlschrank? Kein Problem, Jens. Kühlschrank für die Müller! Die hatten die besten Preise und konnten schon am nächsten Tag liefern. Perfekt. Die Fahrer waren super. Das Grillen war gerettet. Heute bestellt, morgen geliefert. Ihre neuen Haushaltsgeräte bei LO.de. Someone wasn't there. The AL let's go. Have you noticed? Yeah, I think we need that. Uh, never mind. Discussion between me and myself. And um, just just to close the loop um, and to finish that. So when we created this content, we had to think back of what we what do we create for online that will fit. And remember, online today, many people watch videos without sound. So this content, when people say how, how much they love the company and if it's fake or not, it doesn't matter but how much they love the company and it, it really um, based on sound and audio and you can't trust that on online. Think of this, you scroll on Facebook, the video comes without the sound. You on YouTube, it sometimes without the sound. So we created this version without the sound and then, uh, I mean, it, is, it has sound but it doesn't rely on sound. And tell me which one you like best later. <laughs> Hallo, hier ist Sabine von der Elf. Was kann ich für Sie tun? Kühlschrank ist kaputt. Ein neuer Kühlschrank? Kein Problem. Neuer Kühlschrank! Heute bestellt, morgen geliefert. Ihre neuen Haushaltsgeräte bei LO.de. Okay, it didn't get really excited. That's fine. I will. Um, so that's what that's how we want to close the loop, and there is uh, there is more to that, and hopefully it will work in Germany um, as well. Depends on family, depends on the execution, depends on media, but that that's where we want to go. So basically, the the moral from that is, um, I mean, that's the story I tried to tell. I hope I made it uh, clear. Is don't forget your brand, uh, tone of voice, and spirit. And when we had to do, when we did the online experiment, it was so easy to create that and just basically with low production value, put things there, see how it works, put another thing there. And then when you go to the TV advertising agency and they create things with millions of uh, euros or pounds, it just, oh, it doesn't work, it doesn't fit your brand, there's a higher level of anxiety. And then you just um, create different stuff that works for us at least much better. Um, so if you have any questions later, we can talk or we can follow up stuff. And food! Yeah, thank you so much.